Mobile County Health Department confirms the first case of Vibrio this year in the county. Health officials say the exposure happened on the Mobile River. Just last month, three cases of Vibrio were reported in Baldwin County, including a woman who was infected after visiting a beach on the eastern shore. News 5's Bill Riles talked with health department officials today about the different strains of the bacteria and what you should be aware of. There are about 12 different species of the Vibrio bacteria that cause sickness in humans. Annually, there's about 80,000 cases uh, of Vibriosis each year, and about 100 of those uh, can lead to death. So far this year, eight cases have been reported statewide in Alabama. One of those was Brittany Hallman of Baldwin County. She told us in June she was diagnosed with Vibrio after chasing a child into brackish water at the Fairhope Beach. I have a small cut on the back of my foot. The one confirmed case reported in Mobile County now was Vibrio. Vibrio-Vulnificus, just one of the strains of the bacteria, but it did not involve necrotizing fasciitis. Vibrio-Vulnificus is sometimes mislabeled a flesh-eating bacteria, though it can damage the skin and tissue, sometimes making amputation necessary to stop the infection. Most people, however, get the disease another way. Uh, eating raw or uncooked seafood. The good news, if you think you may be infected, get medical help immediately. The bacteria does respond to antibiotics, like in Brittany Hallman's case. They said I caught it very early, mm -hmm. and I was improving well. My body was reacting well to the medicine. And of course, to lower your risk of infection from Vibrio, the health department recommends not eating raw or undercooked shellfish, particularly oysters, and avoiding swimming in brackish water if you have any broken skin. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.